Today I'm going to show you how to extract and retouch an 8 megapixel image from a 4K video. Back in 2009, Annie Libovitz had shot a cover for Vanity Fair with a $65,000 RED camera which shot video in 4K resolution. And today, I have a 4K video camera right here in my pocket. So let's see how far we can stretch a single image out of it. Just a while back, we shot a small fun video with the iPhone 6s to test its video capabilities. And this particular clip was shot on 4K resolution. The iPhone movie file opens just like any other image file in Photoshop. As soon as Photoshop opens a video file, it opens this timeline panel. So to choose the perfect frame, you need to scroll through the timeline slowly. I always zoom in 100% and check the eyes while doing this. You will notice that when the camera or subject moves too fast, the frames have motion blur on them. But as soon as the movement slows down, the images get sharper. Once you decide on the frame, the standard way to extract is either by going to File, Export, Export As and choose your file format. You can also export the sequence of image files by going to Export and Render Video and choosing Photoshop Image Sequence. My way is pretty straightforward. Once I set the marker on the frame I want, I simply merge visible to a new layer by pressing Merge New on the panel. As soon as I do that, my image is created on a new layer. Now, I can delete the video file from the layer below and continue working on the same document and close the timeline since I don't need it anymore. Ok, so let's start editing. To begin with, I'm going to extend my backdrop in this area. The simplest way to do this is to make a selection around it and hit shift and delete. Make sure content aware is selected and click on ok. Now I'm going to use the pre-touch action which balances the frequencies of color smoothness and texture sharpness. You can see the improvement already. I need to brighten the shadows on this side of her face, so I'll make a quick selection of the area with the lasso tool and click on refine edge. I'm going to feather the selection to soften the edges and click on ok. Now I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer and increase the brightness slightly. Next I'm going to retouch the skin and since there is not much healing to do, I can skip that step and start skin smoothing with the mid length option. Simply paint over the skin with the brush tool which is selected for you. You can fine tune the smoothness using the blur intensity slider. Next I'm going to do some color dodge and burn to even out color transitions. Pressing Alt or Option, I will select a skin tone and paint softly. Using the Fade tool, I can fine tune my brush strokes. This technique is also useful to reduce hotspots. And finally, a bit of dodging to enhance the highlights. And a little bit of sharpening. So here is the before image and the after. Now you can save this file as a PSD, TIFF or a JPEG. And judging by its quality, maybe not a Vanity Fair cover, but you can get away with an excellent 8x12 print. If you enjoy watching these videos, please make sure to like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.